when the news broke on Friday that Everton had been deducted 10 points for breaching FFP rules, it became a huge headline in the footballing world. The Toffees have moved from 14th to 19th in the table with just 4 points and are in massive danger of being relegated for the first time in Premier League history. However, this isn't the first time a club has had points deducted. In fact, there's been many clubs with even bigger points deductions. And that's exactly what we'll be taking a look at in this video. 7 clubs that have had points deducted. But before we get into it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Arsenal and Manchester United were the first English top flight teams in 100 years to have points deducted, following an on-pitch brawl during a match in the Old Division 1 on 20th of October 1990 at Old Trafford. It started with Arsenal player Nigel Winterburns, whose crunching tackle on United fullback Dennis Irwin in the second half started a massive brawl. The incident only lasted 30 seconds but involved 21 of the 22 players on the pitch with Nigel Winterburn and Limpar the only ones to be booked, although a number of players from both sides were later fined by their clubs. But the FA still deducted Arsenal 2 points and Manchester United 1 for the incident, although the Gunners still went on to finish as champions, 7 points clear of 2nd place Liverpool, with United finishing 6th. But the first team in Premier League history to receive a points deduction was Middlesbrough who were deducted 3 points in January 1997. Borough had failed to turn up for a game against Blackburn Rovers, who were their relegation rivals at the time on the 21st of December 1996. Manager Brian Robson claimed he was missing 23 players in his squad due to illness or injury and was therefore unable to name a full squad. Despite claiming to have received assurances from the Premier League that they could postpone the fixture, Borough failed to provide the required proof and were hit with a £50,000 fine and docked three points. A court appeal against the decision later failed. The decision would end up relegating Middlesbrough, who despite making it to the league and FA Cup finals, finished 19th in the table, two points away from safety. But the two incidents mentioned previously are very minor compared to the points deductions of all the other teams that will be mentioned today. Let's first take a look at Portsmouth's point deduction in March 2010, which was the first points deduction that happened in the Premier League in over 13 years. As early as the 2008-2009 season, there were rumours suggesting Portsmouth were facing major debts after some reckless transfer business over the years. And after no investment, while a proposed takeover took over 12 months to complete, Portsmouth were struggling. The takeover by Saudi Arabian businessman Ali Al Faraj was supposed to solve the club's problems, but it failed to pay any wages between December 2009 and February 2010, all while receiving a winding up order over unpaid taxes. As they entered administration, Portsmouth were automatically docked 9 points, leaving them rock bottom of the table. They too would end up being relegated and have never been back in the Premier League since and are currently playing in League One. Outside of the Premier League, Derby managed to lose 21 points in the space of 3 weeks back in 2021. That's 12 for entering administration and another 9 for breaching the EFL's accounting rules. Wayne Rooney was in charge at the time and during the time it took for the various governing bodies to agree upon Derby's final punishment, he steered the chaotic club to earn 9 more championship points. Derby had an almost impossible task to stay up, but with 10 games to go, they were just 8 points behind Reading on the cusp of the relegation zone. Ultimately though, the Rams couldn't fight their way out of the drop and finished rock bottom of the league. However, without the points deduction, they would have finished 17th and thus avoided relegation easily. The biggest points deduction in English football history, and that too by a considerable distance, is the 30 points deduction current Premier League side Luton received. They had just been relegated from League One in the 2007-2008 season and then were hit with a massive 30 points deduction in the 2008-2009 season whilst in League Two. 10 points were for irregular matters involving transfers and 20 by the EFL for not properly exiting administration. This was simply too much for Luton and they suffered back-to-back -back relegations, which saw them drop out of the Football League for the first time in their history after finishing rock bottom of the fourth tier. Amazingly, they also won the Football League trophy that season. It's been a long road back for Luton since, but after spending 15 years in the lower divisions of football, they finally made their return to the first tier of English football this season. Now let's take a look at some of the teams outside of England. No strangers to controversies and scandals, Juventus were handed a 10 point deduction last season after an investigation into the club's transfer dealings found evidence of false accounting. They were found guilty of lying about players foregoing wages during the pandemic and were also fined €700,000. Before the ruling, Juventus was second in the league behind Napoli, but with the points deduction, they dropped all the way down to seventh. However, the club's issues off the pitch doesn't seem to have hindered them too much on it, as they are currently second in the Serie A, six points clear of AC Milan, and only two points behind league leaders Inter Milan. 
But Juventus's most recent scandal is nothing compared to the Calcio Poli scandal, which was one of the most infamous scandals in football and Lazio had a massive part to play. A very complex situation that we won't get into too deep today, but essentially several high profile Italian clubs were found guilty of enticing officials to give them favourable decisions prior to games. Lazio were one of the clubs involved and were docked 30 points in total, which dropped them from 6th place to 16th, though they did still avoid relegation by 3 points. They also lost out their UEFA Cup qualification. The following season they were also deducted a further 3 points, bringing their total points deduction to 33 for their part in the scandal. And Lazio were not the only teams affected by this. AC Milan and Fiorentina were also handed 30 point deductions and subsequently lost their European places. However, the biggest losers from the scandal were Juventus yet again. They were stripped off their league title in 2006, which was given to Inter Milan and they were automatically relegated to Serie B, where they were also given a 9 point deduction. As a result, they lost many of their star players such as Zlatan and Vieira who were sold to rivals Inter for just £23 million combined. However, they still kept many stars like Buffon and Nedved, winning Serie B with ease. And that was it for the 7 times clubs had points deducted. With what's recently happened to Everton, how badly do you think Man City will be punished if found guilty of their 100 charges? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.